Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 4. On today's part, we're going to actually be doing Derek McCreary's mission, so let's do it. Smackdown. I told you I'm not going to go. I'm your brother. I'm supposed to take care of my family. Hey! I'm beyond being taken care of now. Hey! 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 Your brother said you needed a hand. <laughs> Looks like you need more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Hey! Ah, <laughs> wake up, you fucking junkie! I'm awake! I was just wishing you'd leave! Hey! Hey! Sit down! <laughs> That's pretty good gear. I'm pretty high. Good for you. Okay. Don't get sanctimonious on me. Okay. Why do you do this to yourself? Because it feels nice. <clears throat> because it feels better to be high than not. Does it stop you thinking? <coughs> it stops you caring. Which is even better. <coughs> so, what do you care about? I care about getting people back who claimed I was a grass. People who used that to steal shit off me. Hmm. Maybe that's what your brother was talking about. When they said you needed help taking care of all the business. Sure. I mean... I ain't a saint. I ain't a man of principle. I... I messed up. But... I tried. This just shows you what... a mistake! What drugs does but to I people. Admit it. We all make mistakes. Exactly! And this guy... Is still threatening to kill me and my family. What's his name? Uh, uh. Bucky Sligo. Bucky Sligo. I heard he was living in Alderney. Can you get access to police computer? Sure. Find the fuck. Shut him. Get his pals up. Uh. Okay. His pals. So Derek is addicted to heroin and he's constantly drinking in the park. Now we gotta find a cop car, but there's a cop car actually right here, so it's just actually pretty easy. And the Lost MC clubhouse is actually right here. Um But anyways, let's um Okay, let's access that police computer. Okay, um, search police records. Okay, and you could search up so many different people in this game. Um, Bucky. Sligo. Let's see if we can get him. There we go. Bucky Sligo hangout burger shot Alderney hit and run Criminals location added to radar and let me show you guys one other thing So there's different characters that you can actually look up inside the um the police computer um, I'm gonna show you guys one character. I know definitely has a um a file in here um Dimitri, let's see Raskolov I hate that guy so much the most evil GTA antagonist. Let's see. Dmitry Raskolov, hangout unknown, wanted for money laundering. So there's di there's different types of um uh, different characters you can actually look up here, and it almost but all the major characters, almost all of them have a record. Hey Derek, apparently your guy hangs out at the burger shop in the Alderley. Go check it out. Make sure his boys are there. I want them all to pay. What if he's alone? Keep the police car. He'll see you and think you're taking him down. First thing Bucky will do is run back to his crew. Fucking coward! Would rather everyone go down than him take a fall alone. Sold me out, didn't he? I guess he did, man. I'll tell you when it's done. Now here's the thing about, um about uh, these missions. So you're working for Derek, who is Packy's older brother. He's a heroin addict, like I said. And Derek is actually a former IRA member, so he spent several years in Northern Ireland. 
Now, um, uh, the IRA, that's the Irish Republican Army, that's actually a terrorist organization, and their goal is that they want a unified Ireland, and they have done, you know, several terrorist attacks over decades in Northern Ireland. And these guys that were actually going after Bucky Sligo, um, these are actually his former IRA friends. And so Derek actually said they ratted me out, but Derek is actually the one who ratted them out. So Derek was actually serving some kind of possible time, and so he actually ratted out um, the majority of his past friends. And um, so Bucky, I believe that Bucky is actually trying to get payback on him, and so that's why Derek wants, uh, wants him dead. Okay, so there's Bucky. So now, um, uh, we're gonna follow Bucky, and he's gonna lead us back to his crew. Shit, Bucky. It's the cops. Go to your buddies. Go to your buddies. Kind of funny the lines that Nico has. Nico's definitely one of the more cold-blooded GTA protagonists. Bucky doesn't go very far, I know that. Very scripted path that he takes. Here we go, this is where Bucky stops. Okay, now we take down the whole gang. Got Bucky. Okay. Now we take down- we took down his friends. Now we should probably get out of here. Oh wait, there's still one more? Okay, now we just gotta lose the wanted level. Okay, let's get out of here. Come on, climb, Nico, climb. Thank you for the car. Damn, the cops there showed up pretty fast. No, no, no. Damn, I thought I was gonna lose them quick there. Okay, I think we're gonna get out of sight now. So you see, in this game, it was pretty reasonable to lose the cops. I didn't like, the, you know, the, the way you lost the cops in GTA 5. The police helicopters got really annoying in GTA 5. Nico! Nico, my boy! Good to hear your voice. To speak to you, I mean. Derek, you okay? Bucky and this boys are dead. What? Sorry, not off for a second. Bucky dead? That's <laughs> good. Yeah, a lot. But dead. It's all the same though, is it? Living, dead, <laughs> good, dead, right, wrong, chalk, shitty. I'll speak to you when you're back among the living. <laughs> I'll speak to you when you're back among the living. So, um, uh, yeah, Derek just has, um, uh, Derek just has serious, um, drug issues there. Oh, we got a text message from Ray. 
Nikki, we want to keep an eye on you. Have you close. There's an apartment you're going to use from Alderney now on. Uh, don't worry about your cousin sleeping alone. He'll be safe. Ciao. So we got a new safe house now in Alderney. Um, we're going to go check that uh, safe house out here. So this is the final safe house that we unlock in the game. Go up this flight of stairs. The final safe house isn't too fancy. It's just okay, average. So this is it. Oh, Brucey? Nikki, what the fuck is this? Roman's getting hit? <laughs> the big man's hanging up his hunting rifle? Let me just turn off that uh, music so we don't get a copyright. Right there for you, right? More for me and you, buddy. I have to admit, that was not my first thought when I heard. I'm happy for him. Sure you are. I'm happy too. I'm fucking happy. Brucey is ecstatic, homie. Just, you know, kind of gonna... Gonna, gonna miss him is all. He's not going anywhere. Him and Mallory are only getting married. We all have to settle down sometime. What, you think I'm getting old? I got the abs of a 17-year-old gymnast and the forehead of a toddler, baby. Brucey don't need to settle down just yet. Sure, sure. Enjoy all that extra pussy then, Brucey. I'll see you around. Oh, we can go see Derek now. Okay, let's go see him then. Nico. Contacts are these coordinates. Oh, and I forgot to mention one thing for you guys. Alderney, this final island here, this actually isn't Liberty City. That's Liberty City. Everything over there, that it's is actually based on New Jersey. Into the country with a boatload of fake hundred dollar bills. As long as the ones he's paying us with are real, it doesn't matter. I owe you an apology, Nico. I was dosed when you told me you killed Bucky and his boys. Yeah, you were out of it. I haven't felt safe since Aiden O'Malley went inside. Who's Aiden? Me, Bucky, and Aiden, we all cared about the same stuff. We came together for a cause we believed in. At least, I thought I believed in it. I was young. This was a while ago, then. Yeah, so Aiden got caught with something when he was somewhere he wasn't meant to be. Needless to say, he'll be inside for a time. Him. And Bucky think I talk. Couldn't see no other way how he got caught. But what I hear, Aiden still rants about me to anyone who listens. I know how it feels to be betrayed. You got that look about you. So notice how Derek said I didn't rat them out. Well, I beg to differ on that, Derek. Fox boy. Yes, I Kim. You Derek? Yeah, welcome to America. We're meeting your friends in Bohan. I'll text you the route you gotta take. Best way to avoid checks. We'll cover your rear. Now this mission is actually based on a real life event. Um uh and what actually happened Another was immigrant arriving in this city, trying to make something of himself. Brings a tear to my eye. When this is done. I won't have to leech off my brothers no more. This deal should mean I can take care of myself. Providing it goes to plan. It's in the hands of the Lord now. So what the fuck is this? Think I got a clue? Use our boat to shield Kim from these fuckers. I don't give a shit if this thing sinks. We gotta protect him. I'd rather swim home tonight than come back tomorrow and die for those notes. Okay, so we gotta protect Kim's boat here. So, uh, basically, what's going on here is, um, this guy, uh, Kim Young Duck, I think his name is. Check right, Nico! So, this guy is from North Korea, this guy that's in the boat up ahead, um, and, uh, the reason that these guys want to kill him here is because, um, Kim is actually bringing in, like, millions of fake dollars. Uh, so he's basically bringing in Super Note, which a Super Note is basically like a really good counterfeit. So it's like a, 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 a bill that's a fake, but it, it, it looks real. It's very realistic looking. We've got the one, a rocket launcher! It's in the back! Get rid of the chopper with it! 
I'll drive the boat. Ah, uh, almost had it. RPG. Here we go. There we go. Take charger again, will you? So, uh, like I was saying, so Kim right here is from North Korea. He entered the U.S. How'd they illegally. Know we were here? I don't know. I told my dealer I was good for the money. I owed him. Maybe a few people at the pub I borrowed money from as well. Just say anything for a fix. I wouldn't know. Could be a coincidence anyway. Or fake. You sound like my mother. So Kim is a, a North Korean government agent. This guy right here, and he's bringing in millions of fake uh, U.S. dollars. And like I said earlier, this is actually based on real events. Um, something similar happened, not completely, but it was inspired by real events. So like I said, Derek is a former IRA member. So in the early 2000s, I think it was 2005, there was one branch of the IRA, because the IRA, there's like a lot of different factions. Um, the, the IRA leader um, of one of the factions was actually, he entered Moscow, and um, he was trying to um, get fake bills from the um, Soviets. And the Soviets turned him down. And so what he did was he went to North Korea to get um, fake bills, and the North Koreans agreed. And they gave him millions of dollars of fake bills, and eventually, I believe he was caught with it, and he served a prison sentence, but I'll probably have a video talking about this one story piece. one day. That was a deal. Thanks, Nico. Thank you, Mr. McGarry. Not such a smooth journey. Yeah, got a bit hairy out there. Good thing you have your sea legs. I hope the rest of your time here is more peaceful. That's all you can hope for in this godforsaken world. See you around, Nico. Don't put all the payoff up your arm, Derek. Only place for it, me boy. Only place for it. See you soon. So the Kim, um, Kim right here, he's just such a terrible person. And um, and this is the thing, is the government of North Korea, they actually right do um, uh, mass produce um, fake bills. So they, the gov that's one of the, one of the ways that the North Korean government actually makes money. Um, and um, they have this one place in North Korea, I think it's called Room 39. And basically, it's like this secret room that the government relies on, on illegal ways for them to make money. And so one of the ways that the North Korean government makes money is they actually print um, fake currencies all over the world. One of them is the U.S. dollar. And so they'll, they'll try to sell off that, that U.S. dollar, and they'll try to make a lot of money off that, um, off that fake. But at the same time, is they're doing two things. So they're making money off of the fake um, uh, U.S. currency, but at the second time, is they're trying to destroy the U.S. Um, dollar. So basically, by s sending in so many counterfeits, millions of dollars of counterfeits, into the economy, they're hoping to actually hurt the economy as well. Hey, man, did you just call me? No, man. Must have been someone else. Yeah, yeah, must have been. I was in the shower and I heard the phone ringing, so I thought you might have called or something. My bad. Later. We'll probably hang out with Dwayne after uh, on this part. I didn't do a video um, where I hung out with Dwayne, but um, yeah, Dwayne. That probably Dwayne was probably lying about that. He was just he he was just didn't have anyone to hang out with. So like I said, Dwayne is a pretty you know. Um, uh, Dwayne is a pretty sad character. You know, his best friend betrayed him. And he doesn't have many friends left. Play with the windows. Oh, another call from Brucey? Yo, Nicky, what's up, homie? Our boy Stevie hit me up. The one who hooked us up with the sweet ride. He don't want you to give it back to him, does he? Shit, no, that's cool. I was just telling him how, you know, you can make things happen. He's gonna be in touch with you about some cars he needs found, if you catch my meaning. Sure, I have an ability to find stuff, if the price is right. Give him my number. Fuck, man. You are the boy. I'll call Stevie. So, um, Brucey, uh, is gonna give, um, uh, uh, Stevie Nico's number, and, and, uh, Stevie texts Nico from time to time, and will give him, like, um, uh, missions on, to steal cars. We'll do Stevie's missions after we finish the campaign, because Stevie's missions, they don't really have a story behind him, he's just stealing cars. Tunnel of Death. They think this is Derek's final mission. Alright, boy? Yes. Good. Derek's high again. do it? I went into a situation full of optimism, full of naivete. I got burnt. Look at me. Like smack on a fucking spoon. Well... How do you manage? I don't know that I got off so lightly. <sighs> we all got our demons. Aiden O'Malley. What about Aiden O'Malley? <sighs> I heard he's being moved. Uh, maybe this is our time. 
put Oscrap to bed. Get off the drugs. Live with the memories. Hayden's being moved by Van from the bacon factory. He's been talking shit about me. Back to the Albany State Correctional Facility. Please, Nico, boy, just this last one. Please. Sure, Derek. You and me. We're the same. The same. I think Nico, in a way, feels bad for Derek, too. But Derek is a scumbag also. But um, but that right there, that shows you what drug addiction does to people, specifically heroin. Notice just how Derek is just shaking and just, just how he acts, but... Yeah. Nico, I hear my brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley Yellow. off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it. What am I meant to do with them? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley in it has to go through the booth tunnel. You're gonna get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm gonna come in from the rear and block them that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call. So knows this city better than me. Okay, so here we go. Let's pick up the truck. So Derek's um, a former IRA friend, Aiden O'Malley, who's been in prison for some time, is being moved, and um, and Derek wants him dead. Now remember, um, uh, Aiden is claiming that Derek ratted him out, um, but Derek is claiming that he didn't do that. When we have him blocked in, we take down the escort and make off with the prisoner. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and then? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they'd talk to if that happened. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great! They're leaving the old cop shop now. Should be at the booth tunnel soon. So, um, uh, Aiden has been talking a lot about Derek in prison. And the thing is, though, is that if, um... If, uh, if Aiden was just killed in the prison convoy, then Packy was right. The police would suspect Derek. Derek would be the first suspect in that. So they have to try to make it look like a prison break. Are you fucking off the map? And also, Aiden O'Malley, that name is used in, um, in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm trying to remember the mission, but it's used, um... I think Arthur says it that his name is Aiden O'Malley. I, I remember it was used in Red Dead Redemption 2, but I'm trying to remember exactly where. Somebody in the comments probably you probably know. Um, but I, I remember I just remember it was in Red Dead Redemption 2 that name. It was an Easter egg to GTA 4. Okay, park the truck to block the tunnel. Okay. Okay, here we go. Tunnel is blocked. I'm in position, Packy. What is that All NPC right, doing? To you. Take out the escort, but keep Derek's pal alive. What's this jerk think he's doing? Hey, Mitch, can you find out what this guy's up to? What is this one NPC doing right here? Oh, great. Hey, buddy, get this thing out of the road, will you? I got. Ooh. Fuck, boys, I ain't doing too good over here. You should have found a better way to live. I'm begging you. All units report to the booth. I need you to clear the area for us, Nico! Alright, Nico, you drive in the van. Okay, so here we go. 
Oh wait, is that an assault rifle? Yeah, we're definitely gonna take that. I only have two bullets left in this thing. Check the cops, Nico. We gotta lose this heat before we can send this fucker where he's going. Alright, alright, I'll try to lose these fucking cops. Okay, now we gotta lose the cops. Aw, oh, come on. Did there have to be a cop right there? Damn. I was about to lose them too, that would've been an easy escape. That sucks. Okay, how are we gonna lose them here? Since it's a police vehicle, this isn't going to work in the pay-in spray. Okay, cop there crashed. So this is New Jersey. Like I was saying earlier, um, Alderney, this is not part of Liberty City, this is New Jersey. And Alderney City, that's actually based on Jersey City. And, um, and this part of the map is actually heavily inspired by The Sopranos. So if you ever watched the TV show The Sopranos, The Sopranos is a very popular TV show when I, was, um, uh, they don't exactly blend in. when I was a teenager. And right here you see this, um, uh, this strip club that's actually based on uh, Bada Bing from The Sopranos. So like just New Jersey in this game or Alderney is heavily inspired by that show. It's a mafia TV show for anybody that's wondering. A lot of the characters are also inspired by Soprano characters, not just in this game, but in, you know, other games like in um, uh, GTA 3 with Tony Cipriani, that's, he's based on Tony Soprano, um, and Liberty City Story is heavily inspired by parts of the Sopranos also. Okay, there's a car. You're not free yet, asshole! Get in that car! Okay, it looks like we've lost him. Take us over to the cliffs in Leftwood. Move! I like how Nico just accidentally pushed Packy over. Hey, get into the cliffs. The cliffs of Leftwood, then! Is there a boat coming or something? Where am I going? You're going to a faraway place, my friend. Damn right! Somewhere the cops will never find me. Nobody's gonna find you where you're going, friend. Shit, I don't even know who sent you guys. Who do I got to thank for springing me from the joint? We're doing this on behalf of an old acquaintance of yours. I knew I wasn't forgotten about. I knew that no matter how long I rotted in there, people on the outside world still remember me. People remember you, all right. You're at the front of certain people's minds. Well, who is it? Not Julia. She stopped writing and coming on visiting days, but I could tell she was still thinking of me. I knew it! You'll find out who it was when we get there. In the meantime, shut the hell up, buddy. All right, friend. Thank you. So Aiden thinks that he's being um, busted out of prison, but the opposite is happening. They're gonna take him to a discreet location and actually kill him. And this is like, you know, parts of the G um, GTA uh, 4 story that are pretty dark. Out you come, old boy. The cliffs, the sea air. I really am free. I could cry. You've made me a happy man, boys. Now it's time to tell me who asked you to do this. Derek McCreary. He's my brother. Derek? But he ratted me out. 
He's the reason I ended up in that place to start with, the spineless... So you thought you'd talk about him? He's my brother, and guys like you are killing him. Nico, get ready, dear old Aiden. So Packy's gonna drive away now. Please, I just want to be free. Now, Aiden, it seems like he's a character that you could spare, but in reality, he's not. You know, it would have been an interesting random encounter if he was actually a sparable he's a character. Wreck, Derek McCreary. Always has been, always will be. So, um, I'll wait to see if there's any other dialogue here. Fucking Derek McFucking Reary. Okay, so I think that's finally it. We'll just wait for one more line to see if he says anything else. Shit! I thought I was out! I thought I was liberated! <laughs> Ooh. So you see how, like, Packy, um, uh, said... Let's wait for Derek's call here first. Aiden is dead. That's the end of a chapter. I can close the book on a whole lot of my past now, Nico. Thanks. Maybe a clean break is in order. A fresh beginning. Good luck to you. So, um, yeah, like... D Derek ratted out Aiden, basically. So Derek was the one who ratted out Aiden. And, um, and... Aiden said that to Packy, and Packy kind of confirmed it, um, saying that Derek did rat you out, but you thought that you could talk about him. So, you know, it's kind of, um, uh, it's kind of messed up if you think about it. So Derek was the one who ratted him out, and so Aiden, in response, talked bad about Derek, and Derek had him killed for that. So Aiden was the one who ended up in prison in the first place because of Derek. So like I said, Derek is a rat. So let's, um, uh, let's see if we can, uh, what, we got two messages? Nico, I need you to meet me on Castle Drive, Francis. So we're gonna do that on the next part. And this is uh, Stevie's first message, but we're gonna we're gonna deal with that um later. Hey, it's Nico. So you wanna go bowling? Sure, I wouldn't mind bowling. Son. Pick me up in the next hour. Okay, man. I'm heading over. So like I said, um, uh, we're gonna go hang out with Dwayne, and I feel kind of bad for Dwayne because of all the bad things that he went through, and like it, like I said, you know he. He made that phone call, um, you know, probably, probably wasn't telling the truth on it, um, just wanted to hang out with Nico, because he doesn't have, he doesn't have any friends left. One disaster after another. Hey, man, you look well. Let's go. Man, life is hard. Sure. I mean, I was never set an example. Prison, they had me doing all this therapy bullshit. Discuss your childhood, you know? That sounds fun. My childhood, I saw my dad beat my mom. I saw her try so hard. I remember once she got popped some golf clubs, because his friend had some. Thought he could be refined and shit. He was a pimp who couldn't read. Fuck only knows what she was thinking. And you know what he did? He broke them over her back. Fucking animal. I was glad when he died. Life is tough. Damn straight. So that was about, um, that was, that right there was uh, about Derek's, I mean, Dwayne's, um, Dwayne's, uh, childhood. So his father was extremely abusive. I ain't in a rush, slow it down! And so like I, like I said, you know, my Playboy, um, uh, X videos, um, Nico sees himself a lot in Dwayne. That's, you know, why he considers Dwayne, um, a, a good friend. Because, you know, both of them have just gone through a lot of really bad things. Think you got game? Let's bowl, bitch. I don't know why bowling never came back in um uh in a uh, in a uh, GTA in GTA um you like to GTA bowl? Five. Yes? You have come to the right place. It should have come back, in my opinion. I don't know why it didn't. Okay, let's see how we play here. Ooh, that was terrible. I haven't gone bowling in so long myself. I haven't gone bowling in probably over 10 years. Damn. Huh. 
sort of a boring spot. I remember that on the PS3, and I guess Xbox 360, there is a trophy, because I got a platinum trophy on GTA 4 on, um, on PS3, and the platinum trophy, um, one of them was to get, like, three strikes in a row in bowling. Which, um, it's not very difficult, you just have to learn the angle that you have to land the shot at. There we go, I got a strike. Ah, uh, almost. But, um, what other activities does GTA 5 have that, um, that, uh, GTA, I mean, GTA 4 has that GTA 5 doesn't? It has pool also, I know that, and it also has the, um, there's pool, and then there's also air hockey. Air hockey they brought in the episodes from Liberty City. And then they brought in golf in episodes from Liberty City, but, um, but golf was, um, an activity in GTA 5. Really horrible. You good, Nico, you good. Whoever knew Europeans were such good bowlers? Shit, man, that was a lot of fun. Yo, can you take me back to Northwood? Whoa, what's happening? Why the delay? And also, guys, I have my, um, lore video coming out on, a uh, Dwayne and Playboy, um, so that one will be coming out. I know I've been a little delayed on that, but that will be eventually coming out, too, so just be patient with me. I'm working on one current GTA lore video. It'll actually be up in a few days. It's a really good one. You'll know it when you see it. I don't want to spoil what it's about. I was surprised I didn't get a one level there. See you soon, man. That was a lot of fun. You a good guy, Nico. So I guess we'll probably wrap it up here, and we'll probably do Francis's mission on the next part. So um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.